In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the flat world map infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this a uh, folded paper design and then I've put a world map onto this and then there's some shadow effect. And on my click, it will show the option. And then if you want, you can just recolor the map. This is fully editable. So let me just show you when I click the first, you can see here the pointer comes here with the shadow effect. You can add the title and the detailed text and on my next click it comes to this country the latin american side you can see here then it comes to the middle east then here for the the australian side and then from china or japan side something like this you can see here so the map is fully editable you can just change the color as per your requirement and if you're not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. I have created a WhatsApp group. You can join by clicking this link and this is also provided in the video description section. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to some light gray background. Then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some a gray color then i'm going to add two right triangles go to basic shapes select the right triangle draw the right triangle inside you can see here shape outline make it no outline and then rotate i'm just going to make it flip horizontal then i'm going to duplicate by pressing ctrl d and bring it at the top of this one and make sure that it is properly aligned then i'm going to subtract this particular right triangle from the rectangle and i'm going to union this one add this one so let me just select the rectangle hold the shift key select the right triangle under format merge shape just say subtract and again hold the shift key select this triangle or the right triangle merge shape and i'm going to say union so you end up getting a shape something like this now I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate and you can give some different color and then just rotate. I can just say flip vertical and then bring it here, align it properly, select both of this, press Ctrl D to duplicate and then just add it here. And then I'm going to select all by pressing Ctrl uh, the shift key and then I'm going to group it by pressing Ctrl G and then holding the shift key you can increase or decrease the size something like this you can see here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some 3d effect for that right mouse click go to format shape then go to the effects under 3d rotation go to presets and i'm going to set the perspective relax moderately so you can see here something like this again if the size is bigger you can just reduce the size so that it should be within this one and if the size you can see the color is uh, very light you can just change the color again by selecting one by one now i'm going to give some shadow effect here go to insert shapes select the triangle draw the triangle you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give a black color increase the transparency maybe 40 or 50 percent then go to the effects and under soft adjust increase the size you can see here bring it down further you can increase the size something like this and then just send this to back and again select this ctrl d and add to the other side and this also you can send this to back so you can see here uh, if it is not matching then you can just increase the size something like this so this is your the shadow effect has been created now it's time to add the the map on this so let me just select this particular uh, the map which is fully editable select this one and paste it here and depending on your requirement you can reduce the size or increase the size or you can change any color of your choice so whichever way you want you can just change it as per the requirement so once this is done i want to give some more uh, a, a kind of a shadow effect here for that go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape you can see here i'm just clicking from this end to this you can see here again 
till here make sure that it is properly aligned and then click it here and then give some gradient fill here i've used a color combination of gray and light uh, the white color and white color make it fully transparent and the direction i can just change like this you can see here and this also i can increase the shape like this and shape outline make it no outline so it gives you a kind of a more folded feeling so again if you want you can just do the similar thing for this end also let me just show you go to insert shapes select the freeform shape you can click here this end to this end again you can see here like this again i'm going to select this go to home i can just say format painter or i can just simply select the gradient fill shape outline make it no outline so it got a, a more kind of a folded effect here now once uh, you can see here the design is ready it's time to add some icons and the text so if you're using a latest version of powerpoint you can go and insert the icons or i have provided some free icons you can download from my channel so click on the icons you can see here and just scroll down so you've got a variety of icons whichever icon as per your requirement you can just choose it so i'm just going to further scroll down and you can see here i've got like this this one this one so whichever way you want you can just select so let me just add four icons you can see here and then i'm just going to select one by one i'm going to put it here maybe if you want you can just rotate it like this then i want to have one here then i want to add one here then i want to add somewhere one here and then depending on your requirement you can just change the color maybe i can give a red color here then i can give some a uh, different color kind of orange maybe i can give some kind of a, a green color or green color is not not visible maybe you can give yellow color and you can give some other color of your choice and you can select all this by holding the shift key then go to the effects go to the shadow select the preset and i'm going to set the perspective like this and if you want to add more shadow effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to select the type as linear and then i'm going to select this one stop and make it a black color and this one direction make it from the center and the second stop i'm going to choose the eyedropper the color of the map something like this and make this as fully transparent this one you can increase the somewhat transparent level then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size something like this you can see here and then just select here and then bring this to front go to format bring to front something like this you can see here so now i'm just going to select sorry i'm just going to select the shadow press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to add it here you can see here something like this ctrl d and then just add it here and then select the icons and bring to front so you can see here like this way you can add the the shadow effect and the last thing is you need to add the text after adding the text we can add the animation effect so to add the text go to insert text box you can add the title here make it bold choose some good font make it center align if you want and then go to insert text box you can add your detailed text here or you can add some kind of a percentage of depending on your requirement again i can give maybe a white font for this reduce the font size if it is not visible you can make some other font choice then press ctrl g to group it you can see here then go to insert shapes select the freeform shape from here i'm just going to make one line like this and then here you can just select the end you can see here either you want this side or i can remove this one i can select the arrow end type and i can select this so like this then i'm going to select ctrl d to duplicate 
for this one control D again this is for this side the white text is not visible so I recommend you to just change the the font the color and then you can use something different maybe a black or some other color will be more visible you can see something like this and then again as usual I'm going to select this freeform shape I can just click like this again go to insert shapes freeform for this I'm going to double click here shapes again the last one for the this option so like this you can give some the the arrowhead also now once this is done it's time for the animation so to add the animation let me just oh, go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this first one and i'm going to say fly in fly in select the option from top and then you can double click it increase the bounce end timings let it be very fast and click ok so it comes something like this and then i'm going to select the arrow and sorry not the arrow the shadow effect go to the fade select the fade one and this one should happen with previous and give a little bit delay of 0.25 seconds you can see here and then for this line you can give a wipe effect let me just select wipe effect okay wipe effect you can give from bottom and then for this i'm going to add animation go to more entrance effect stretch say okay and say stretch from bottom and this also should happen this is after previous this also should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here now it's very easy for me to just uh, copy the animation so i'm going to select this animation painter click on this likewise i need to just select one by one and then just add the animation effect you can see here again for this i'm going to select this line the only thing you need to just change the direction maybe this is from the top and again this one you can do it here and this also should come from top so likewise you can just copy the animation for the rest of the options